So let's give him constipation. And salmonella. There we go. And hemorrhoids. There you go, off. Oof. Not a great way to go out, buddy. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Bio Inc. Redemption. Life and death. Death. These are the things that we hold in our hands today as we try and either save our patients or condemn them to death. We're going to choose life today. We're going to try and make them better, help them, recover them, and get them out of the door and keep bringing in that sweet ass insurance money. Remember, guys, if you, as you sitting there watching this video, enjoy the video or enjoy the game or you're just having a great day, make sure you let me know by leaving a like, leaving a comment, leaving something. Anyway, let's jump right into this diagnostic medical game by continuing our life campaign. I actually started a patient after doing the tutorial and I didn't want to do one without you guys so I kind of just let him die he had a very very tragic death basically everything just fell out his heart died his his spine died everything just went horrible okay so we're in med school right now we're doing our internship uh, patient name we're gonna be naming patients just after my random um, patreon patrons so let's see first we'll do B Gibbs there you go B Gibbs is gonna be our first patient difficulty mild moderate severe lethal we'll do moderate to start off okay we don't need to go too crazy so select boosters all booster slots are currently locked yada 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 we don't have enough experience to do those quite yet but let's jump in and I'll show you guys what's going on. Patient B Gibbs has a few diseases targeting his circulatory and nervous systems and his overall health is suffering. Reach 100% recovery by diagnosing and treating diseases. There you go. All right, so here's B Gibbs over here. We got a circulatory system, respiratory, digestive, skeletal, nervous, renal, immune, and muscular. All right, so we got to use different things to kind of treat him. But right now we got to harvest some protein and blood. Uh, I don't really know why the system is like this, but you basically do wait for them to pop up and you gain uh, these bio points by using them. You use bio points to spend on uh, treatments and diagnostics, things like that. So we're going to start harvesting all of these just to start building up our bio points. Let's see, his current health is 89%. All right, so we got 12 now. Let's see what his, his current symptoms. Wow. He's got a lot of symptoms. He's got shaking, loss of reflexes, headache, coughing up blood, dizziness, muscle aches, leg swelling, leg pain, paranoia. Uh, the, most, the most intense one right now is the shaking. So if we look over here, that is going to be his uh, brain <laughs> thing. So Parkinson's disease and epileptic seizures are two of the possible diagnoses. Um, but we, what we can do is do some of these neurological exams, psychological evaluation to kind of uh, check out just a test to see which one of these diseases it might be and I do think cuz yeah we're gonna test for Parkinson's real quick let's do a neurological exam so we're gonna spend three of our bio points to go and test for that oh wait no that only do insomnia or hemiparesis okay which one of these can test for Parkinson's dementia Parkinson's okay here we go so a brain MRI will take all 12 of ours Let's go ahead and just do a brain PET scan. We don't need to use all of them, so that'll go ahead and be in progress. You can see right there, we're currently scanning his brain. Just gonna keep collecting these just so we can get some more bio points going. As they're popping around here. Let's see, okay, the PET scan's almost done. Once that's done, hopefully we will be able to tell what sort of disease he has. So yes, uh, positive for Parkinson's, negative for dementia. Okay, so he does have Parkinson's, so we need to start treating that. Oh, uh, we can treat that with, uh, Car, car, carbiodopa, something. So this takes 14 bio points. We currently only have five, so we need to start getting some more bio points. We just gotta collect all these things. So many. He's got a lot of things wrong with him, man. A lot more than my previous patients had. They're really starting me off tough, aren't they? Ow! He's got blood coming out of his head. Okay, skeletal. Where is? It? Oh, there it is. Okay, B Gibbs. Let's go ahead, go to biomap, and we're gonna try and treat your Parkinson's. Okay? There you go. Go ahead and prescribe that. That'll be 14 days. There we go. And so now his symptoms should subside. Let's go ahead and speed speed along. Just go through this a little bit faster. Oh no. Oh, new symptoms. Swelling, bruising, and leg pain. Oh no. You little stinker. Okay, I just need some more bio points. Keep collecting. Ah, should blood just be squirting out of him like that? I don't know much about medical science, but I don't think so. Uh, he's got some intense leg pain, which could be any of these things. Could be blood clots, deep vein thrombosis, post phyletic syndrome. Let's see, so let's go ahead and do, well, let's see, what can we test for these? Uh, ultrasounds, I think ultrasounds are going to be our best bet, yeah, so let's go ahead and do an ultrasound, it's only going to cost five bio points, and that should help us diagnose uh, all these problems that he seems to be having, so we'll end bruising, a uh, headache, let's see, stroke, ooh, maybe we should do blood pressure tests, no, he doesn't have hypertension, which one of these can test for a stroke? 
Mm, oh, brain MRI. Yeah, we don't have enough for that right now, though. But we're currently running ultrasound and treating these Parkinson's. So we still have 10, so we should be able to get some soon. Ah, stop squirting blood, dude. Just stop it. Confusion. Oh, great. Okay, so ultrasound test results. He's positive for blood clots, deep vein thrombosis, and post phlectic syndrome. All right, so how do we test all, or how do we cure all these? So let's see, uh, anticoagulants, clot blusters, and that therapy. Okay, uh, what's his most intense one? Uh, the most intense ones is this one, and this will cost 11. So let's go ahead and, yeah, let's go ahead and treat that. Prescribe 22 days, there we go. And these cost three, this one's five. Nope, not quite. So his Parkinson's treatment is almost done. Hopefully we'll get that out of the upgrade. We can upgrade this. Uh, don't have enough to do any upgrades. Okay, let's grab these. Grab some of this stuff. There we go. Parkinson's treatment. Okay. Let's see. Is he still suffering from... No, looks like we treated his Parkinson's. Nice. Don't think it's quite that easy in real life, but okay. <laughs> Actually, I don't even know if you can really treat Parkinson's. All right, we're going to go and upgrade uh, the harvest power. Diagnose at least three diseases. Let's go and upgrade that. There we go. So again, we just use our bio points to go ahead and do that. Uh, we're also going to treat his uh, blood clots with some anticoagulants. 90% 90, 90 effective. And we got three left, so we can't do the clot busters yet. Clot bl bl busters. Man, it's hard to say. Clot busters. There we go. Come on, B Gibbs. Don't you give up on me now, buddy. All right, now we should have enough. Okay, clot busters there. Let's go and prescribe that. And confusion. He's got some confusion. Uh, we should probably test for a stroke. Ah, it's 12 points though, so we need to hurry up and gather some more of these. He's currently 80% health. He's 28% recovered though. Okay, blood clots. There we go. He's recovered from the blood clots. Muscular problems now. Uh-oh. All right, we really need tests for a stroke, so I got to get 12 bio points real quick. Ah, he's got personality change too, but that might be symptom of a stroke as well. Let's see, personality changes. Yeah, that's looking like... Or Alzheimer's disease dementia. We already ruled out dementia, though. Didn't we test for dementia when we did the Parkinson's test? Let's go to get this one. Level 3 plus... Ooh. Nice. Plus 3 each 15 days. Nice. Okay, go ahead and take that. Then we just used all of our stupid bio points. Dang it. All right. Now we have enough. Let's go ahead and quickly do the... Personality change. Uh, brain MRI. There we go. So that should check for the Alzheimer's stroke. Uh, so that's two of the things that we, he, he might have. He is showing symptoms on both of them. So it's going to take a while to get that tested, unfortunately. Uh, immune boost. Immune boost. B gives immune system is an overdrive in producing more white blood cells than usual. What's next? More resources will spawn for the next few days. Nice. Cool. So, oh man. Look at all these go. Woo. Oh god, they're all over the place. <laughs> I don't know if it's bad if I don't collect them, but I'm pretty sure I just, you know, you kind of just want to. Okay. Uh, brain MRI. So he has dementia, nervous breakdown, chronic stress, Alzheimer's. Negative for stroke and brain aneurysm, though. We need to start treating these because he's got a lot of things going on here. So chronic stress, uh, let's do the heart, most intense ones first. He's Alzheimer's, so I'll uh, go ahead and give us these inhibitors. And then dementia, we already, it's the same inhib inhibitors. Okay, fine. And then psychiatric counseling, there we go. And that's all we got that for now, so we need to go ahead and keep harvesting some more resources. Circulatory, his circulatory system's not looking good, 42.8%. Not great. He's currently 40% recovered though, so all three of these should help him move along in his recovery. So that'll be real nice. And let's see, he also has chronic stress. So we'll do 90% effective stress management therapy. Yeah, because I mean, the difference between 90% and 100% really isn't that intense. So all he has left is a headache. Let's go ahead and do a psychological, or, yeah, psychological evaluation. There we go. And then he should be cured after this, right? We'll just keep harvesting resources just to be sure. There we go. Two of them went ahead and got cured. 55%. Huh, so the psychological evaluation didn't show anything. Okay, dizziness. What could it be? Could be, what is that? Uh, photosensitivity. All right, and a headache. So let's go ahead. We got a lot of stuff now. Let's go ahead and test for, let's see. We've got stroke, hypertension. We didn't wear to rule out stroke, hypertension. Let's do a lot of tests. We're gonna do blood pressure and uh, exercise electrocardiogram. There we go. And then we're also going to do, let's see, dizziness, mm, neurological exam, photosensitivity. Okay, I guess we'll do both of these. Oh, wait, we can't. Dang, okay, got a lot of tests running right now, so let's go ahead and speed things along. Busy labs, hey, I got an achievement. Look at me go. All right, hypertension. So he is positive for hypertension. Let's go ahead and treat that uh, with um, alpha blockers. Yeah, might as well do alpha blockers. There's only two more and it's 100% effective. 
There we go. Okay, high cholesterol and angina. Well, that's gonna be tougher to treat. Well, we need to get some more resources real quick. Okay, and he doesn't have insomnia or hemiparesis. Good to know. Good to know. Okay, hold on. I just I, I need more resources, guys. All right, I know we got a lot of treatments and stuff going on, but just hold on a second. There we go. Three percent, ninety or fifty-nine percent. Circulatory system stinks. Is there no way I can like recover it? Look at that. Thirty-six point five percent. Ugh. Okay, right, chronic stress. There we go. Seventy-one percent, guys. We're getting pretty close. And he's got chest pain. Of course he does. What a stinker. Okay. Dizziness. We still gotta test some more things. Uh, let's go ahead and do. Oh, we gotta we gotta treat these. That's right. Let's do nitroglycerin for the angina. There we go. And then statinus. There we go. And we need more resources. Okay, chest pain. So is that the only thing for chest pain? Oh no, he could have uh, asthma. It looks like. Okay, we're gonna have to start testing for those. Speed up. There we go. Eighty-four percent. Okay, we've almost got this. We've almost got this. Give me these resources. No, oh, missed that one. Okay, his nervous and circulatory system aren't looking so hot. Still has chest pain though. So we need to, let's see, allergy test, sure, why not? Maybe he just has asthma. That would be a lot easier, I think, than some of these other things. Let's go ahead and do uh, electrocardiography. Don't have enough, dang it, ah! Now we do, run that test. Run the test. b heart is being monitored. That's because he's down to 30%, come on. I really need, we just need 15% more treatment and he should be good. Come on, okay. There we go, he has arrhythmia. Good to know. Okay, arrhythmia. Oh, uh, he needs a pacemaker. Crap. And does he have anything else? Okay, he doesn't have uh, asthma. So, I need a lot more things to treat this arrhythmia. I gotta install a pacemaker. Give me more resources, come on. Okay, install the pacemaker. Takes 22 days. Oh, uh, is he gonna last that long? Is he gonna last that long? His uh, circulatory and nervous system is down 26%. Come on, dude. Come on, man. Let's see, can we upgrade anything? No, we cannot. Not looking good. Oh, it's brain. Ooh, we got 94. Okay, skin rash. Oh, God. What's going on with his brain? Okay, 17%. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, he's got not elevated heart rate. Oh, no. Okay, uh, which one of these can I test for either of these? The pulmonary embolism and heart attack. Oh, God. Okay, let's test that. And the ideographic good thing. Okay, test for those. Come on. Once you're treating for arrhythmia, he should be good. If he gives us 6%, that'd be beautiful. F f f it only needs 5% now. Okay, he had a heart attack. Jeez, okay, I don't have enough to treat the heart attack right now, but... Oh. There we go, 100%. We got him to 100%. Despite the fact that he had a heart attack randomly in there. <laughs> Stage 1 internship. We saved B. Gibbs in 233 days. Has been stabilized after seven months of medical treatments. Precise diagnosis and treatment of B gives Parkinson's disease slowed down the nervous system collapse, thus providing more time to uh, to complete prognosis. Not bad, guys. That was pretty damn good. We got two out of three or out of four hearts. Don't know what that means, but cool. Well, now that we saved B Gibbs' life, we are going to try and kill someone else. We're going to start a death campaign. So we basically have to work in opposite. We have to fight what the doctors are doing. They will try and continuously treat him but nope we got to take them out victim has a poor lifestyle and his average shape yep all right uh this shall be off is gonna be my victim all right let's continue we're gonna do moderate again let's see booster category so we do have a booster slot now let's see um let's just do collateral damage there you go start the game so we get a little bit of boost all right off you're going down you have a poor lifestyle and you're in average shape you're going down buddy all right, so we need to uh, start off just like normal. Look, he's a little chunky today. <laughs> we need to start off like normal, but this time we harvest uh, diseases and viruses. Or I think it's bacteria and viruses, rather, uh, in order to get bio points. So similar to last time, but now we just got to kind of gather these. And then the bio map, instead we actually choose diseases to evolve. So let's see. Let's give him some hypertension. Let's go ahead and evolve that. That's going to start to... Uh, it's going to create blood, high blood pressure in his heart. So that should affect, negatively affect his circulatory system. So they will probably eventually run a blood blood pressure test to check it, and then they're going to try and treat it. So we just kind of, kind of, got to stay ahead of the doctors or counteract whatever they may be doing to him. And if they reach 100% recovery before we kill him, we lose. A right, flu epidemic. Uh, office exposed to more viruses and bacteria than usual. Nice. Okay, so we get some extra resources. Good to know. Let's grab these, 
And then we're actually gonna go to the biomap real quick. We're gonna go to hypertension. And we're gonna evolve the next stage. Do we have- Oh, we don't have enough to give him a brain aneurysm. Dang it. Uh, let's go ahead and do... Blood clots. Why not? I do want to save up trying to get the brain aneurysm, so we need 13. Alright, let's go ahead and get all of these. There should- We should be able to do 13. There's tons of viruses and bacteria popping up now. And he's squirting out goo like crazy. Ah, uh, we lost those two over there. Come on. Oh, jeez, there's too many of them, man. I can't keep up. God damn. Grab those. Okay, we got we got enough now, so let's go ahead and give him a uh, brain aneurysm. Oh, he's not a smoker, so we can't. Dang it. Okay. Uh, stroke for 21. Let's do that. Let's go hard on his heart, man. All right, let's grab the muscular viruses and bacteria. 21, there we go. Now we can go ahead and give him a stroke. There we go. <laughs> That's gonna hurt. Off had a stroke. Take that off, you bastard. They haven't started any tests, tests or treatment yet. That's weird. I don't know why they haven't started any. They, we must not have a very good doctor. Well, and then we want to mix it up a little bit. So let's see. Should we give him bronchitis? Well, let's give him the flu. Just a nice little flu. Ooh, we can give him H1N1. Give him the pig flu. Ha. <laughs> All right. So he's looking real bad now. Yeah, he just had a stroke. Oh, now he's going to the doctor. Okay, so now they'll start treating him. Symptoms are worsening off. He's going to visit the doctor. The doctor will now investigate the symptoms and treat the illness. Recovery will start, and they'll try and cure him. So now we got to stay ahead of it, because they will start treating, or they'll start testing and treating him. We just got to stay ahead of it. There we go. Okay, they're doing an ultrasound on him. Probably check out his heart. So let's go ahead. And, and they're doing blood pressure test. Okay, we got some stuff now. Let's go ahead and give him... Uh, H1N1, why not? And bronchitis, don't have enough for that. We can give him pneumonia later. Let's see, so they're gonna start testing these. So we should probably- Ooh, let's do high cholesterol as well. There we go, and then we can give him angina. Achievement unlocked! Silent killer, nice. Okay, he's been infected with H1N1, and he's got high cholesterol. Nice, they completed that test, they completed the ultrasound. Now they're probably gonna prescribe a treatment. I need more resources! Okay, they're treating his hypertension with alpha blockers. Oh, no you don't. Give me these. Here we go. Where are they all? They're there. I got too many things to look at, man. I'm going all over the place. Oh, anticoagulants prescribed. Dang, okay, he's at 4% recovered now. Oh, these little stinkers. Little stinkers. Okay, maybe we should spread the disease around a little bit. Because we kind of been focusing. I mean, his heart is not looking good. Circulatory. Maybe, let's just keep hitting his heart. We got 9 now. Let's see. Can we do deep vein thrombosis? There we go. And then let's do angina next. I think that'll be good. And they're doing a metabolic panel. So the only thing we haven't hit so far is skeletal. But I really should focus on circulatory nervous because they are going down like crazy. All right, and we can upgrade now. Let's go and do that. Get plus 20% resources. Thank you. Then he's got state, state, statins. So treat his high cholesterol, whatever that may be. Come on, any more resources. There we go, muscular. Emergency room in critical condition. Off has been admitted to the emergency room. The doctors are now intensifying their efforts. All right, so they will diagnose and treat diseases faster and they'll uh, speed up his recovery process. Okay, but the nervous system, man, I don't know. It, it's already pretty damn low. Let's see, anything else I can hit? Uh, where's the nervous system? Let's see, chronic stress, uh, epileptic seizures. No, don't have enough for any of this. Yeah, I just need to keep getting more resources. Don't have much I can do. Okay, they're doing a brain MRI, so that may help with his. They're, they're gonna be able to diagnose his stroke, but is it gonna be in time? I don't think so, because he's really not looking so hot. And he's getting an ultrasound. Not looking hot today, off. And they're treating uh, his deep vein thrombosis with the clot busters. No, it's not gonna help. Look at this. He's going down circulatory. Look at his little heart. Oh man, okay, they did treat it though, but only 6% recovery. And his nervous system is about to entirely collapse. 1.5. Oh, and they're treating his stroke. But that's okay. They're not gonna be able to do it in time. Come on, come on. Okay, give me some more stuff. Immune system. There we go. It looks like his nervous system has stopped collapsing. All right, before they can finish that, let's go ahead and hit him again. Oh, no, what? Oh, they're treating it, so we can't. Those little stinkers. Okay, well, let's go ahead and hit his brain. Let's do epileptic seizures. Yeah, let's give him some seizures. There we go. There we go. Oh, yeah, off systems are failing. Increase, increase failure rate by terminating other systems. Okay, yep. Yeah, his nervous system collapsed. There we go. Now we just gotta work on the other systems. They're 37% treated now. Oh no. Okay, his circulatory system is still going down. The next closest one is his immune system. So let's check that. What can we do? Photosensitivity, insomnia. Oh, we, not enough. We need eight for all of them. There we go. Now we can go ahead and hit that. Let's go give him uh, insomnia. There we go. Grab some more of these. He can't sleep at night. 
All right, neuro regeneration. Officers receiving experimental neuro regeneration therapy refers to the regrowth and repair of nervous tissue cells. What? Nervous system health will increase by 20%. Dang it, man. Okay, but yeah, his heart is completely failed now, 0%. Dang it. Okay, so they brought his nervous system back somehow. But it's still, it's still dropping like crazy. Not today, doctor. Not today. Swear to God. Better stop healing him. All right, 38% recovered. All right, they are pumping up their treatment pretty fast. So we got to be careful, man. We got to rush. All right, eight more points. Uh, we can do the other one. Let's go ahead and do photosensitivity. Here we go. Mess up his nervous system or his immune system a little bit more. There you go. Now it's dropping like crazy. Look at that. And the muscular. Wow. Heart transplant. What? He had a heart transplant. The little stinker. Okay, circulatory system regain health by 25%. Oh, you little turd. How dare you? I can't do anything else to a circulatory system, unfortunately. Risk factors. Let's see. Ooh, I haven't even... Man, how... I completely missed this. Okay. Let's see. Respiratory immune system. So we can give him allergies, malnutrition, uh, overweight. Oh, that's been evolved already. So is this one. Uh, this will affect digestive skeletal and renal. Let's go ahead and try that. Let's give him some malnutrition. There we go. Oh, oh wait. We could have made him obese. That'd probably be way better. Okay, let's get some more points and let's make him obese. And they're finally treating his flu, those little stinkers. All right, nervous system. Man, uh, it's going, they're doing too well. Epileptic seizures, damn it. Come on, give me more resources. Woo, oh, oh God, it's everywhere. Dang it, man, okay. 62%, uh-oh, SpaghettiO. Oh, we got 12 now. What do we need to hit? Um. See what is being real low. Okay, his immune and muscular system is pretty low. So let's go ahead and try and hit his muscular system. Uh, skin cancer. Don't have enough for that. Oh, necrotizing fasciitis. Ooh. Nice. Don't have enough for that. Uh, super potassium deficiency, just to help a little bit. And chronic muscle cramp. Just to shoot those down a little bit faster. And let's see, anything else in his renal system that we can do for real cheap? Uh, urinary incontinence. There we go. Off his peeing himself now. There you go. That should lower his uh, renal. Oh, why is renal? His renal is really high. Oh, oh well. Okay, and they're doing a medic box panel. 29%. 63. It's going to be close, guys. I don't know if we can kill him, man. It's going to be close. Here we go. His muscular system is about to completely fail. 1%. There we go. It's going down. And 0%. His muscular system has failed somehow. Is that just like the ability to control the muscles? I'm not entirely sure. We should be able to do this. We're at 23%. They're at 70 or 67 we should be able to do this. Okay, we got eight points now. What do we want to hit? Uh, nervous. Uh, let's try. Can we hit his immune? I don't know if we have enough yet. Let's see. Fatigue. No, they treated his insomnia, unfortunately. So we can still give him lupus, but it's never lupus. <laughs> House references. Oh, and they treated uh, his H1N1. How dare they? What were they thinking? Damn, these doctors trying to save his life. Okay, immune. Mm. 81% heal. Oh, no, no, no. They are catching up, man. Okay, they're not currently treating anything right now. So that's okay. Let's see. What was, how many do we need for his immune system? Wasn't it uh, lupus 17? Ah, just two more. Two more, and I can take out his, his, his immune system. Actually, we don't really need to. Immune system is going to go down any second anyway, so it should be fine. Let's see. What should we hit now? Digestive? We haven't really done anything to his digestive system yet. So let's give him constipation and salmonella. There we go. And hemorrhoids. There you go, off. Oof. Not a great way to go out, buddy. Oh, man. All right, 2%. Yeah, we got this. We got this. Buy off. I just killed you because I'm the Grim Reaper. Haha. <laughs> you won. Epileptic seizures caused off's nervous system to collapse first, which led to his circulatory system to collapse. Neurogeneration was performed on off as a light resource, but without success. There we go. Ha. It took us 270 days to kill him. 81% recovered. We didn't get as many points as we did when we were playing life, but I guess that makes sense, right? All right, guys. Well, that is going to be it for this look at Bio Inc. Redemption. If you enjoyed, make sure you let me know by leaving a like, leaving a comment, leaving something. If you want to check out the game for yourself, you can follow the link to it in the description below. Thank you to the developers for sending me the game. I will see you guys next time. Bye.